Hi, I'm Julie with San Diego Voice and Accent, and in this video, you'll learn how to link words together using the K consonant. The K consonant is a stop consonant. This means that the airflow is stopped somewhere along the vocal tract, somewhere between the vocal cords and the lips. For the K consonant, the airflow is stopped in the back of the mouth, and specifically at the soft palate. This is where the back of the tongue makes contact when you say the K sound. You probably learned to pronounce the K sound like this, with an audible puff of air that comes out as you say the sound when the back of the tongue releases from the soft palate. This can happen in a word like back, back. Did you hear the k sound at the end? That was made when my tongue released from the back of my mouth and the airflow continued to come out, back. However, the K consonant is not always fully released, especially when it comes at the end of a word and the next word begins with a consonant, and even more especially when it's a stop consonant. In this case, two things can happen. First, the K sound can be unreleased. This means the back of the tongue makes contact with the soft palate, and then it stays there. There isn't a release of the tongue. The tongue remains in that position, and then you would transition immediately to the next word. Here's what an unreleased K sounds like in the word backpack. Backpack. I'll say it slowly so you can hear how the K sound is unreleased. My tongue remains pulled back and in contact with the soft palate as I transition to the P consonant in pack. Back, pack. The second thing that can happen is the K consonant may have a mini release of the tongue. This means the tongue moves away from the soft palate at the end of the K sound, but just a little bit. Here's what a mini released K consonant sounds like. Backpack, backpack. I'll say it slowly so you can hear the mini release. Backpack, backpack. I'll demonstrate an unreleased K consonant, a mini released K consonant, and a fully released K consonant. Listen closely to the K sound and see if you can hear the difference. Backpack, backpack, backpack. Either the unreleased K or the mini released K would be acceptable for linking, but the fully released K is too much of a release and it disrupts the fluency of the phrase. I've discussed how to link the K consonant when the next word or syllable begins with a consonant. But what if the next word begins with a vowel? Luckily, this type of linking is a little bit easier to imitate. When one word ends in a K consonant and the next word begins with a vowel, like in the phrase, back up. Native speakers usually take the K consonant and put it onto the beginning of the next word. So the phrase, back up, is really said like, ba cup, ba cup. It's not back up. With a mini released K, it's ba cup, with the K sound placed at the beginning of the word up, and the K sound is released. Let's practice linking words together using the K consonant. And in these examples, the next word will begin with either a consonant or a vowel. Remember that if the next word begins with a consonant, the K sound will be unreleased or have a mini release of the tongue. If the next word begins with a vowel, the K sound will be moved to the beginning of the next word, and the K sound will be released. I'll say each phrase three times, and I want you to repeat in the pauses. Backpack. 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 Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Truck stop, truck stop, 
truck stop. Look up, look up, look up. Walk fast, walk fast, walk fast. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have questions about how to improve your American accent.